Hello, I'm Steve Knutson. I'm a Microsoft MVP for Office Apps and Services. And today I thought I'd do a demonstration of some of the features of Bing Chat Enterprise. So Bing Chat Enterprise has got some great features for summarizing content, which will make uh, your writing faster. It saves you, uh, has the ability to save you a lot of time. Um, I'm a person that writes a lot um, and um, I'm not a natural writer. so. Uh, anything I can do to improve my productivity around writing has got to be a benefit to me overall. One of the nice features about Bing Chat Enterprise is that it is included in your Microsoft 365 uh, E3, E5 um, business premium business standard plans. Um, you can enable it in your tenant. In fact, it's already enabled, so you'd have to disable it if um, it's something that you don't want people to use. So to access uh, Bing Chat Enterprise, you go to the top right-hand corner of your Edge browser, you click the little uh, icon up here, which is the little co-pilot kind of icon, um, which will take you into a screen. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to demonstrate how to summarize content in different ways. So on the left-hand side of my screen, I've got an article that I've written, and I'm just going to give a quick scroll down. So you'll see it's quite a lengthy article, um, and it's got um, a number of different sections in there, including some references to research um, and some suggestions and a few things which are probably... Um, not expected, maybe the negative side of using um, AI for content generation. So the first thing I can do here is I can, down in my prompt box down the bottom of the screen down here, um, I can uh, ask it anything, or I can simply click Generate Page Summary. So if I go and choose that, what it's going to do is look at the content on the left-hand panel of my screen, and it's going to generate a page summary. That's quite quick. And you'll see what it's doing here is creating a few bullet points around uh, the article that I've written on the left-hand side and generating a quick summary. So what can I use that summary for? Well, if I've created some content, perhaps I've created an enterprise wiki article. Um, maybe we're deploying Dynamics 365 into the organization and we've created a wiki on how to do expense claims and we want to do a summarized version of that text. We could summarize it, pop it into a Teams chat and share that information with my team um, very, very quickly. So I don't need to rewrite the, the, the more detailed article. I can just produce the summary. And because it is a Copilot type tool, um, it's there to support you. So it is a really good idea to review the content before you post it and not just accept that it's going to be perfect. Uh, that's not the world we live in when it comes to AI. It's there to support you, not to replace you in this case, or in any case. Um, another feature that you can use, so you'll see here it's generated quite a nice little summary with some key bullet points, and if you read my article, you'll see that these bullet points are actually very relevant. Um, one of the really interesting pieces in here is this part about the risk, which is that acknowledging that um, AI is not perfect, and if it gives poor or inaccurate responses, it can actually slow you down. So um, and it also points out in the article here that the people that benefit the most from this are actually the middle group of people in your organization, not the high performers, but actually the people that are kind of um, generating a lot of content, um, but perhaps need a bit of help or a lot more content reviewing. So we're saving the initial author time, but also the reviewer time through that process. At the top of uh, Bing Chat Enterprise, we also have this compose option here. So what I can do is I can compose here by pasting text. So if I want to then produce different layouts of text, I can set the tone, the format of it, and the length. Um, and I'll give you an example here. If I go and grab some information here, so I've got a piece about the um, the Work Trend Index 2023, and also a couple of papers by MIT, Boston Consulting, and a finding um, down here. Um, so I'm just going to copy that text, paste it into here. Um, you know, it's got a limit of 2,000 characters, so I'm going to be cutting a little bit short. Uh, but what I could do here is I can just go and generate a draft. And you'll see I've just left it on the default settings. And let's see what this produces for us. Here we go. <clears throat> so it's going to produce some summary text, summarizing, reading, and interpreting what it thinks it's what it, uh, a version of what I've done here. Now, one of the things it does is you can actually use this to rewrite your content um, to perhaps um, make it better. If you if you are not a natural writer, uh, this is a great tool because it will save you a lot of time in making your writing sound sound consistent. Um, and you'll see that it's summarizing this quite nicely for me. I can copy this summary to the clipboard, uh, but maybe that's not what I want. Maybe what I actually want is a summary that I'm going to include in an email. So you'll see this is generated, regenerated my text. Um, I had a thought about this. Um, have you ever migrated a Confluence 
wiki page that was written a few years ago and you want to modify it, rather than copying it like for like, perhaps you could copy it through a generative AI process and then into your modern SharePoint page uh, in your knowledge base um, to create a new version of that content. Or if you're really desperate, paste it back into Confluence, of course, tongue in cheek here. Um, but let's have a look at some of the other layout options. Um, this one here, the email option, is quite nice. So I can generate an email. Um, so I can also use the email, just because it says email doesn't mean I need to use it for email, but I can also use this perhaps to post to Teams or um, or um, send it somewhere uh, as, as a as an introduction to the information that I've just posted. So you'll see it summarizing the text here quite nicely um, into an email in a long format. <clears throat> if I change this to short format, sorry, medium format, if I change the length here and then generate the draft again, this time it's going to generate a shortened summary of that text for me. Um, and that would make it more consumable for the person receiving the information. So when we're living in a world of information overload, summarized shortened versions of text will let the person know whether this is something they really should spend time reading and understanding or whether it's just there for their information to know, um, actually, I can just skim that one. So this is doing the skimming for you. Um, it's taken a little while for the process to run, but hopefully we'll be there in a second. Oh, we couldn't generate. Okay, let's just try that again. Uh, perhaps it couldn't generate a shortened version of that because the, um, here we go, we're off. It may have been because I cancelled it partway through the, um, the previous generation. You'll see how it's much shorter than the previous version of this email that I created. And it's generating a summary of what is quite a long piece of text, which has got a bit, of, bit to understand in there. Um, I could also produce a long form report format and I can change the tone to make it um, a, a more um, something that's more um, you know more in line with perhaps the the nature of the conversation that you're wanting to have with people. So there's a couple of features that you can use um, in your organization now in Bing Chat Enterprise. Um, give it a go. Uh, click the little button on the right hand side up here. Make sure you're using the Edge browser of course to do that. Um, and um, I'd love to hear your feedback. Let me know uh, what you find uh, useful out of this tool and whether it's something that you'll use in your day-to-day -day job. Thanks very much.